Lord Jesus. Lord God, just to say thank you, Lord. Father God, we give you glory. Father God, as I come praying and Lord God, rightly dividing your word, I'm asking Holy Spirit for your leading, for your direction, for your guidance in the name of Jesus. Please be fire in my hands, my feet, and my belly. Allow me to say and do whatever you would have for me to say and do. I thank you in advance, for, Lord God, for blessing and healing and delivering. I thank you for your word, yes, Lord God, that's already anointed, Lord God. I pray that you allow me to sustain the weight of your glory mm. in this house today. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus, and we said amen. Amen, amen Lord. Amen. amen. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In Hebrews chapter number 12, beginning at verse number 1, the word of the Lord God says, Therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, lay aside every weight Come on. and sin which so easily ensnares us. Mm. Let us run the race with endurance that is set before us, looking unto who? Jesus, mm. who is the author and the finisher of our faith. The for who joy that was set before him endured the cross. Yes, Lord. I believe it's important for you to underline endured the cross. Despising the shame and has sat down right. at the right hand in the throne of God. And we said amen. 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 Blessing to the readers here at Jewel of his almighty word. Amen. 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 Taking any notes, which I encourage you to do. This is the teaching, healing, deliverance ministry. The word today is indoor. Mm. Hallelujah. Indoor. I know it may be something you've heard before. For some of you, it's a brand new word. For the rest of us, it's a refresher. Yes. Get ready for your refresher in the name of Jesus. In case you're taking any notes, the title of today's message is You're Gonna Make It. Hey. Hey. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Uh -huh. 
Lord Jesus. We have to go through to get to. Because see, a lot of people want to get to. They want to go to, but they don't want to go through it. My God, my God, my God. You want to get to that new place in God, but you realize that you got to go through something All right. with God. Amen. All right. You've got to learn that you know, suffering is just part of it. Come on now. Amen. Come on, suffering is just part of it. What do you think is called the cross? Yes. It's not called a T, it's called the cross. Oh, Amen. It's called the cross for a reason. That means that in the Bible text, as far as I recall, the cross was not an easy thing. Am I right about it? That's right. It was heavy, it was rugged. Uh, the psalmist said an old rugged cross on a hill far away stood an old Come on. rugged cross. I want you to know that cross wasn't smooth, it had thorns, it had cuts, it had some things, it was heavy. Do you realize, and many of you may not understand that, but if you ever, ever study history about the Bible and the cross, that thing was so heavy, it weighed about three or four tons of the weight that it would for a long time. And just think the Lord God carried it all the way to Calvary. When he carried it, do you realize he was carrying you? Amen. Do you realize he was carrying you with all of your stuff, and all of your children's stuff, and your children's stuff, and he carried it, and he didn't even complain. Matter of fact, I love that part. Now, tell you, if you don't know what favorite part of my movie, the favorite part of my movie is the Passion of the Christ when he embraces his cross. All right now. When they laugh at him and they say, "Look at him! How foolish is him to hold on to something that's hurting him?" Hey! Come on now. Come on! My God! Come on! Something that you know it is crackling away. My God! It is hurting you, but the Lord got to go ahead and endure it. Come on, Pastor. I may be preaching to myself about uh, it, but I'm here to tell you, sometimes I just learn to tolerate, mm. endure some things. Mm. You know what? We got to endure like good soldiers. Come on now, I'm here to tell you. I want you to know that, yeah, you will have some good days, but uh, nine times out of ten, you will have some rough days. Mm -hmm. Nine times out of ten. You're like, wait a minute. Uh, some of you are like this one. Nine times out of what? Ten. You're going to have some rough days. You're like, wait a minute. That means you only got what? Then? That nine times out of ten, you're going to have a good day. Nine out of ten. Wait, come on, children. That means only one day I may get a look, and then all of a sudden, hell break loose all night. Yes. Amen. Yes. 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 Dog not acting right, cat crying, a bird flying away, car not running, washing machine down, hopping after the fool, daughter cutting up. Talk to me up in here. What do I know how to clean? Talk to me. Come now. on now. You must understand that for nine out of ten, we're gonna have something to go through. Yes, Lord. But you know what God says? He's trying to tell us something today in the word. He said that you know, run the race with endurance. When he's telling him to run it, he said, no, don't run it just me. Run it like, you know, like it's the last thing. Yeah. Run it with all you got. I don't know about you, but I'm giving it all my all I got. I'm telling I'm giving you everything that I have. And you know, that's what the Lord God desires. He said, you give me all you have. And mm. when you run, I, I'm going to put it in mine. Yeah. Jesus. I'm trying to make it. I'm running this race with what in 
endurance. And he says, you know what? He, made, he said he endured. The scripture says he endured the cross. He endured it. That, I thought that was so powerful that, that the words would say he endured it. Do you realize that enduring something is a choice? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. It's a choice. Think about it. The Lord God, he could have said, you know what? I, I, he said, I'm not going to take this here, Shane. He could have. I'm trying to teach you something today, people of God. Amen. That means when you endure, you have the ability to choose not to. Amen. 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 <laughs> and now, you, you don't believe it? They got, uh, how much, what's the divorce rate? <laughs> All right. Talk to them in the house today. Come on, come on, come on. What is it? I mean, is it, we going to make it or we, I'm not, look, it don't All make right. it. All right. All right. Tell the truth about how many individuals have walked out on a job? Come on. Walked out. And wasn't that what they walked out because they were like, you know what? I, you know, I'm not going to endure. It was a choice. I'm trying to let Come you on. Endure. Come it on. It's a choice. So whenever you feel like walking out and you stay, you chose to stay. Amen. All right. God says, I know that you're suffering, but you're about to go through to get to. Come on. Holy God. My God. My God. Yes, Lord. You see, you, you chose to stay and to go through it to get to it. You see, the, the Lord God, you must know in the kingdom there's no shortcuts. Amen. Okay, I'm here. There's no shortcuts. Amen. You're not going to get caught. Thank you. Look how the Lord worked that out. Right, hallelujah. Amen. You're not going to be down here without taking steps Amen. to get up here. Am I right? Amen. Amen. So a lot of people want to go from here, go down on the tennis shoe, and jump. They won't be down there. And they won't jump. They'll be up here. But what did they happen? Isn't there like a step? What are steps? It's called a process. All right, okay. all right. See, we don't like to be processed. Come on now. Through, you got to understand, in order for me to get to that place in God, I've got to go, i got to take a step at a time. Am I right about it? You know, I want everybody in my house to be saved, but I understand it's a step by step Come process. on now, come on. It's going to take a step because I didn't get saved today. Oh, Come on now. Preach that. I Preach that. To, hey, I was down there too one time. They took me a process. I'm still groveling to get to where I am. Come on. Come on. on. Holy Why are you judging individuals who have it? Shut the front door. I know door. it's not in the word, but somebody needs to hear that. Yeah. We're going to put that judgmental spirit out the door. Right now. Hallelujah. We're not having it up in here. Because everybody has a, a bottom ground. Amen. Yeah. Okay. Everybody had a new beginning. Everybody had a first day. A fresh start. Everybody started out somewhere. Mm. That's right. I say that all the time. We didn't come out the womb walking. Right. Hello. Anybody? None that I know would call it something that's abnormal. You came out just like everybody else, poor and kind and depending upon your source. Am I right about it? That's right. So how it is that in the spirit realm, we expect everybody to <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. And this Christian, unless we're Christ, which I don't believe anybody in here is. It's going to be a step-by-step -step process. Amen. But we must learn that we've got endurance as part of it. The Lord chose. He said, you know what? I'm going to endure. That's a big note right there in case you didn't get it. Enduring is it's a choice to endure. You choose to put up with some things. All right. Yeah. Hallelujah. No, no, no. That can go. That's a twofold word right there. You know, you can put up with some things that you really shouldn't be putting up with. Uh -oh. But we talk about kingdom. Uh -huh. We talk about kingdom. Let's keep it on kingdom. We'll preach that right. the other way the other time. Uh, yeah, yeah. We talk about kingdom. We're enduring. We're enduring persecution. We're enduring them laughing behind our backs. Talk to me now. Yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. You don't want to participate in the jokes and the, and the little things that, that just are demeaning to Christ, to the God that you serve. Or better yet, when you tell by his stripes you, they're healed, and they're like, that's all they're going to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on. Do you realize that's persecution right there? Mm -hmm. Because as children of God, that's all I know is the word. Yeah. And if you know it like that and you believe it, I call those things as be not as though they were. I'm expecting. Right. I make a demand on the anointing. Right. Come on, on now. See, that's because you ain't made a demand. That's not my fault. Hey, yeah. hey, hey. Because you want to sit there and do, oh, no, no, no. I make a demand of the anointing. I said, Lord God, you said. That's right. That Come on, you come on. That I'm blessed coming in the door. Shut the I'm front door. Out the door. I'm blessed in the city. I'm blessed in the country. Everywhere that I go, everything I put my hands to shall be blessed. Amen. My God. Come on now. Yes. And see, but see, 
for, for a believer, that, that's power, that's life. To somebody who doesn't know that they're, 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 they're persecuting you. Because you're like, you know what, you, you might not want to mess with me. <laughs> so when you tell people, they think, oh, they uh, Already yet, I've heard the word uh, little dog syndrome. You're so little. You make people think you're big. I said, I'm bigger than him, though. That's so right. Watch yourself. That's right. Watch it. <laughs> watch right. it because I'm talking about King's kids. Mm -hmm. All of us, no matter how young you are, yes. if you're a King's kid, the enemy needs to be careful how he handles you. Because God says, I, I'm watching you. They have enough that they have to endure. Amen. The last Amen. thing that they need is somebody <laughs> woo, coming up against them. Come on now. Come, come on. Come on. Come on. The word says that he endured the cross, despising the shame. And he turned around and he sat down at the right hand of the Father. I thought it was important to know. Look at uh, uh, Hebrews chapter number 10. Just a few pages over. Thank you, Lord God. 10, 36. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The word of the Lord God says this. For you have need endurance. So that after you have done what the will of God you may what receive the promise. You see, I told you, you're going to have to go through to get to. You see, you may want the promise right now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. That fall right in line with what I just said. It's a process, people of God. You're going you're gonna to have to go through something in order to get to it. But if you, after, after, endure it. Tell your neighbor, after. 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 Tell your neighbor, say, after. After. Uh -huh. After you have endured. Then endure after that, you've done that, then, the, then you receive what the promise. I don't know what, you, what God's promised you, but he's promised me some things. I got some things on the threshold. I got some things even on the altar. You think this is on the altar, you should believe what else I got. Help. Hallelujah, you have no idea. And you know, I'm believing for total deliverance. Come on. I'm believing, I'm believing for limbs to come out, pop out. Shut the Yes, Lord. You know what to say? Hey! I believe they be shouting Jesus. I'm yes, like, Lord. Hey, you must understand that's how I feel. Those things that I'm believing God for, and that's a promise that He told me. Yes. Mm. All right, man. I don't know about you, but some of you need to be reminded of what God promised you. Amen. Hey. Because what He told you, He may not have told me. But don't come on. Let come on. Try to come on. Discredit your promise. Because right. one thing, God's not a man that He should lie. That's that if right. He said it, so that's shall it be. If He spoke it, it shall come. Come on, God, you must understand, people of God. Now, tell your neighbor you're going to make it. You're going to make it. Tell your neighbor outside, you're going to make it. Go on, tell them like you mean it. Yeah, yeah, you're going to make it. Yeah, yeah, you're going to make it. Somebody in here is going to make it if you make it today. Tell them you're going to make it. You're going to make it. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord God. People of God, we must understand that the Lord God said, he said, sons and daughters, don't be too concerned about the cares of this world because you will make it. But you've got to endure. You're going to have to go through some things. You're going to have to put up with some things. Woo! My Jesus. I, I, like the, I knew I didn't give you the scripture, but I, I got to point it out. First Peter said, after you have suffered a while. You're like, well, wait a minute, wait a minute, God. After you have suffered a while, then he's going to perfect you, establish you, and sell you in every matter. First Peter 5, I'll give it. First Peter 5, verse 10, it says, after you have suffered, endure, people of God, a while. A while means, doesn't mean two minutes. A All while right. means that I've been here for a couple years, Lord. Amen. I've been in the same cave for a couple years, Lord. I've been in the same situation, the same issue. It's been a while. Yes, it has. But the Lord God is trying to tell me, he said, son, he said sons and daughters, kings and queens, he said, after you've been there for a while, I'm perfecting you. Yes. I am establishing you. See, they don't, you don't even know what I'm about to do for you. Oh, Come yeah. on, Holy Ghost. Oh, yeah. I don't know about you, but I'm going to see Give me that, Lord. In the name of yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yes, amen. All right, Jesus. Oh, all right. Do you like you mean to tell me? She did all that work and she didn't complain. Come on, Lord Jesus. Amen. You know what? Your name is being, you're, he's establishing you. You're thinking, you're thinking, wait a minute, God, me, yes. He's establishing you. He's giving you footage and giving you ground. He's putting you in a place. Mm. It comes at another higher. You've not ever been before. Jesus. You know what I'm Lord amen. God, he's giving you stamina and stat status in a place you don't even realize. He said, 
all that behind because you decided to endure. Because you said, all right, Lord, I'm going through it. And I'm going to let you know, when it says a while, people of God, it don't mean you're going to be shouting and jumping all the time. Sometimes you'll be crying snot. Mm. Right. I don't know about you, but I got the most crying is weeping. We should be called a weeping prophet. Shut the front door. We cry more than everything, you know. But I tell you what, crying is a release. Because I'm here to tell you, whenever I get that release, watch out. Don't let me. Don't let me shed a tear. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I'm right about it. Yeah. Because see, some of the, you know, people think crying is a weak thing. To me, what crying is strict. All right, now. Because yeah. well, let, let me get to crying. Don't let me get quiet. All oh. right. Oh. All right. Because oh. see, oh. you can say all kind of, but whenever I start getting, I get in quiet mode, and then I start dropping some tears. Watch out, devil. Because I'm coming out with both barrels. In the Hello. Middle. Because I'm not dealing with it because my wild is over with. Because at, at the moment my tear drop, that means, Lord, I can't take. That's it. That's it. That's it. I was waiting for you to drop that tear because you were talking. You know, you yes. know what we do. We start to cry. I'm, I'm known for it. Before we let it drop, we, we can't. Am I right about it? I got it. Yeah. I got it. You see, as we do that in the natural, when they were going through things, I got it, Lord. Yeah, yeah. I got it. The Lord God said, you know what? Let the tears cry. Hey, okay, hey, now. hey. I don't have it, Lord. I don't. I don't have nothing together. Nothing. 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 I can take credit for nothing. I'm missing in some, I'm like, I'm like a missing link. I got pieces all over the place. I'm a shattered mess. And the Lord God said, it's all right, God. He said, because I'm the potter. Hey. <laughs> and you are the clay. Jesus. I can see that with somebody who's already put together. But somebody that's a mess, that's just what I need. I need somebody where I can just kind of put back together. I don't need that piece of take this one here. I'm sculpting it out. And I created another vessel. Yeah. One that would give him honor. You see, I used to have a real bad mouth. Ooh, talk to me now. I'm not by myself up in here, am I right? No, I used to do certain things. I used to do something. I used to do something. I'm not by myself up in here. But you know what? Now, God, I've been shouting all over the place. You know what? I learned. When I sit bad mouth, keep in mind, I used to talk negative. Amen. Amen. We're saying that. Keep in mind. And some of you are just like that. Before Amen. you would talk good. Oh, I don't think so. Oh, uh, well, oh. Uh, you know what? Whenever I don't do that anymore, mm -hmm. it took me a long time because I start having the fruits of my labor. Yes. Okay, yes. now. I start talking. I, you know what? I, I'm not going to. And sure yes. enough, I would. But when I said, you know what? I correct them. I even put I said, don't say that. Don't, don't say that. Don't speak that over yourself. Don't speak. I said, you know what? I may not know it right now, but I, I'm going to get it. I tell many individuals, I said, you know, I may not be a, the smart, I may not be the sharpest knife in the jaw, but at least I can still cut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lord. I may not be the one that can do But I tell you what, it's better to be able to be cut than ever cut than not be useful at all. The next time somebody tell you, well, you know, you don't know anything to you know what? I may not be the sharpest knife in the jaw, but at least I can still cut. Hey, okay. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to get the, you know what that means? I'm going to get the job done. All right. <laughs> You see, a lot of people just went on and on. Because, see, every short knife is going to get dull. Huh. All right. And I'm here to tell you, but look, look where they're going to go. When the short knife gets dull, guess who they're coming for? Old faith. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I, I, I wasn't as sharp as you thought I was, but I was still cutting. Yeah. I'm putting it in layman's turn. You must understand. See, you may not have thought anything about me before. I wasn't more spiritual, but look at me now. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, All I, right. I didn't think much about me, but you know, I, you, know, you know how I got it? Prayer fasting, prayer oh, fasting. Wow. So you didn't think that, but look how God moved mountain. Yes. I'm still making it. I got bread. I got a roof over my head. I'm still working. Yes. Come on, I'm Jesus. But no, you had it, but I wasn't that sharp. But nonetheless, God still contained me, sustained me. Yes, I'm Lord. Why? Because I learned how to endure. Oh my God, help me, Holy Ghost. Help me, Holy Ghost. And the word says it. Look what Hebrews 11:27 says. You, you gotta see that. You gotta see that because that this is so important. Because see, we talked about faith. You know, we talked about how we endure by faith. But you must understand in Hebrews 11, 27. I, I thought it, it stood out to me. And it, it's not a passage that's been ever probably never been preached before. But look at it. It says, "By faith he forsook Egypt, meaning Moses, not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured." As seeing him who is invisible. You're like, oh, wait a minute. I, you know, that's exactly what I thought. He endured 
but he endured for who, whom is invisible. That means, I, I, you know what, I'm, I'm seeing something that you don't see. That's keeping me motivated. Come on now, I'm enduring some things because I see him. Yes, Lord. I can deal with the pressures of this world because I see him. Yes, I'm Lord. To somebody over here. Are you going through? See, they may not understand you, you know, and they probably tell you acting funny all the time, but it's all right because I'm going through this because I see what you don't see. Right. <laughs> I see how I'm enduring because I know him that's invisible. Yes, you Lord. can't see him, but I see him. Come on. You don't see the hand of God delivering you. Come on. You don't see the you don't come on the hand of God supplying my need, but I do. My God. So I'm gonna continue to go through it because I know when I go through it, I can get to it. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Come on, come on. People of God, we gotta stop trying to be delivered and brought out of our situation and say, Lord God, bring me through it. Yes. Amen. Just bring me through it. I know that's a that's a that's a big girl, a big boy word. Yes. Because a lot of us don't want to go through that. Oh. Yeah. It's just the truth. You gotta wait five minutes in line. You're like, I'm, I'm leaving. <laughs> My right about. Don't be in the grocery line. I don't need the grocery line. <laughs> you will leave. You will leave because your cashier, you know, the cashier doing the best she can. She rolling, but you are there. <laughs> hot. Your milk getting hot. You know everything. Yes, Lord. But you don't know how to endure. You don't even know. My God. You know You must learn to endure. I'm saying that somebody needs to hear that. You need to just sit back and just say, you know what, Lord? I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go through it. Right. You see, you're, you're thinking it's about the grocery line. Mm. No, I'm just showing you basic things with the grocery line. Then I'm gonna show you in your prayer line. Then All I'm right. Show you in all right. You know, okay. see, you see, God do something simple because the grocery line. Okay, y'all familiar with the grocery line? Yeah. But you don't want to do that. I don't want. You know, I don't want that. I'm not gonna go through it. Well, you know what? When you were in prayer, praying for that particular thing that didn't come to pass this year, the Lord God said, you know what? If you just endure, if you just kind of go just for a little while, yes. the best is yet to come. Come on, Jesus. You're going to make it, people. Of God. Yes. But you've got to learn how to hold on. Mm. you got to hold on. How, like hold on. Hope is like the rope that you hold on Come to. on. You don't give up your hold. I don't know about you, but whenever I learn to endure, I learn how to hold on to the rope. And my rope is Christ. Amen? Come on now. Yes. My rope is Christ. You must understand, people of God, you're going to make it, but you've got to learn how to suffer and go through something. you got to stop giving up right in the middle of the battle. Oh. I know that y'all people don't want to hear that. They're like, oh, wait a minute, why uh -uh, why are you going there? Because you see, that's just human nature. Yeah. Whenever we're, we're just right, right, whenever we get tired of something, we quit. Right. I know you don't want to hear it, but I went on it. I said it anyway. It's <laughs> out. Yes. That's just human nature. Yeah. You know, if things not going your way, a little struggle, but do you realize, and you, you know what we'll say as believers? It just wasn't my time. Wait a minute. How you know it wasn't your time? Uh -huh. If you'd have yeah. stuck in there with you, it would have been your time. Mm. Come on now. You see, that's how we, well, it's just what, it wasn't my time. The Lord God didn't have, no, no, no. The Lord didn't, you know what? We put God, help me, Holy Ghost. Help. Stop blaming the Lord God. Come on. Woo, Lord, have mercy. Stop blaming the Lord for things you failed to do. I know it's tight, but it's right. If I stepped in your toes, I meant to crunch them a little bit more. Because a lot of times we'll say, Lord God, it wasn't my time to get that house. It wasn't my time. The Lord God said, you'd put a little bit more effort. Mm. If you didn't do it, just a little bit more. You know, he went, remember the Bible said, I'm not putting no more on you than what you can bear. All right, all so right. Why would you think God would, he's not trying to put you underneath something that you cannot get over. You want to know that you're an overcomer. Yes. Thank the Lord God. If it's right there and you feel like it's too much, the Lord God said, don't even worry about it because I'm going to bring you over it before you go right Jesus. there. Jesus. Lord, at your word, Lord. <laughs> yes, Lord. But at your word, at your word, not mine, because mine has no power. But at your word, Lord God, at your word, I'm gonna do it, Lord. At your word, I'm gonna take a step of faith. At your word, that's the last time the devil gonna use that excuse and say, it, you know what? It wasn't my time. When something, when the weight weighed upon me, you know what? How many times the Lord God told us to do something and we brushed it off as being something else? Mm -hmm. yeah. 